Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly reading session for you. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. The reading for today is a love reading. And this is for the sign of Aquarius, okay? Before I start, guys, I want to thank you for your likes, your subscribe, and for the support you provided my channel. You know the drill, guys. If you are keen to further support me and my channel, check the description box below. Uh, you'd find all the details that you need, all right? So this is for Aquarius. Um, love reading, okay? So today, Aquarius, I'm going to be taking a look at your um, past situation. I'm going to be looking at your energy, the mutual energy between you and your person, your person's energy. And then we are going to look at the immediate outcome or advice okay immediate future okay so let's start your reading um aquarius you've got the four of wands and the four of pentacles and the four of cups wow this is amazing this is four 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 so you've got a sign okay if you're waiting for a sign or for for your intuition or for your guide or for your angel whatever you call it if you are if you're waiting for a universal sign um then the sign is a 444 or a consistent number if you see that sign then whatever your thoughts whatever you're thinking it is manifesting it's happening okay so that's an extra message for you guys because i felt like there's some sort of hopeless hopeless soul <laughs> um before before our you know before before anything else, tarot is a guide. If you want help, and if you want to revolutionize your world, your romantic life, it always comes to you first. Okay? So that is a sign, 444. Four, four. It comes to you. Okay? Start within you. Internal work. All right? So um, let's go to specific. Okay. Love reading. Um, the past situation for you is you've got the four of wands in reverse. The Four of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Um, four of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. When this is in reverse, this speaks about not stable. It's not great. It isn't built to last. Okay? Um, I see that given the number of 444 is here. 4 is the number of stability. 4 is strong when it's in upright position but um both of the both of this card is in reverse and the only upright position is the number four the four of cups which speaks about your emotions so for some of you you're still you are a bit stubborn or reluctant to release something in the past connected to love or a person it could be an experience it could be a person it could be a hurt or a pain you're reluctant to release okay 444 four, four. stop overthinking stop sitting here under the three and waiting for things to develop because the result is in your face and the result is it isn't ready it's not stable you need to release your emotions your feelings and your attachment in this situation it is not working okay um you know it's time to move look at you you've been slouchy you've been lazy things in your life it's been stuck because you're waiting for this situation to manifest or to happen where in fact it is gone it is long done. It needs to be released. It needs to be released before it can be reborn. Okay? What a strong message. Um, so what is your energy? You've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you... Four of Wands, Knight of Cups. So you definitely... Research, you have received some sort of rejection. You, need, you, have, re you have received some sort of rejection or unreciprocated love knight of cups or the person the situation in the past they were not prepared to give you the knight of cups okay 
And the Knight of Cups in reverse, this is also betrayal. This is also dissatisfaction because all you want is a sincere love and yet you've been waiting for quite a while and they have released you. It didn't manifest. It didn't happen. And all you got is a Knight of Cups in reverse. This is disturbing. Most especially if you've been hanging on in this for so long. Um, I'm going to clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You've been holding with these pentacles for so long, my friends. It is time to release it. Okay. The person you are holding on, this, this, this connection you have with this someone, it is expired. Okay. You need to release and reborn. So what's the person? What is... Um, what is the mutual energy between the two of you? Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, I don't like this when this is in reverse. Because this is selfishness. This is obscured. This is below the belt. This is below the line. This is just not fair. This is an absolute bitch. Okay? Your person's energy is the Ten of Pentacles. They have possibly moved on. They have possibly... They possibly are concentrated or focus on the career it's possible that this person have someone in their life because when i look at the ten of pentacles i see these two couples and i don't think this that this is your energy okay i'm gonna clarify what's the ten of pentacles with the energy external or the person yeah at some point um They're not happy with you, okay? They were not happy with the connection you have in the past. And so they exit, they aggressively went out, exit out of you, Aquarius, to find stability, okay? This is quite strong. I think this is a make it or break it reading. I'm going to break your heart. I'm going to probably make you cry. But this is the reality. My friends, I don't want you to be stuck into something that is long expired. Your person, you know, they have the Knight of Swords. This is aggressive. They were so in there. They're, imagine a person running away. They were running away from you because they're not happy. And they're looking for a Ten of Pentacles. It's possible that this person run away from you, close you off, shut you off, decline you to look for career, to look for another love, to look for stableness. Because this is Ten and this is Ten. What they feel towards you is Ten of Cups in reverse. Not happy with you. I'm running away. Bye-bye. I'm looking for my Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you already found love. For some of you, they're happy with finances and career. All right, and the mutual energy between the two of you is the queen of swords something is not right something is fishy someone is still holding on with this expired love okay you need to absorb and accept the thought that this person who you love who you like who you share this intimate moment this happy memories who you shared some sort of moment has declined you and it is time to open your eyes. You're holding this coin close to your heart. It is expired. I'm sorry. I'm going to burst your bubble. Now, in the immediate future, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is a missed opportunity. Seven of Swords. If this person is still in and out of your life, they're probably using you. They're not sincere. There's no honesty in here. The Moon card. It is begging you to release it. It's so obvious that this person will steal your heart, left it broken to pieces. I'm sorry. I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. It is time to let go. What's the final advice for Aquarius, please? Queen of Cups. This person is not available to love you. Okay? All they can offer you in the immediate future is Seven of Swords. They're not available to love you. They're searching something outside of you or your connection. Please accept that. Five of Cups. If you cling into their energy, if you put hope, if you put your fantasy up in you know, a Five of Cups, you're just going to break your own heart. 
don't break your own heart this is the reality i'm sorry i don't have a good news for you i'm so sorry i'm just a messenger so please if your intuition is telling you <laughs> 444 it's time my friend to move on okay take care of yourself you heal i'm sending you my love and kisses and um hug and that uh, you know one heartbreak it's not the end of the world there's so much re so much reason to live believe me okay thank you i'll see you soon stay safe be safe and please heal all right bye bye